Hi, and welcome to our new tutorial. Today we will be having a look at how you can deploy 7-Zip with the help of Microsoft Intune. We will show you step-by-step step how you download, create an Intune file, and deploy with Microsoft Intune. If you want to read about the deployment, you can also check the blog post. There you will find more information, and you can copy, for example, commands directly from that website. You also find the latest blog post from us with helpful information. The website is in the description. But now let's start with deploying 7-Zip with Microsoft Intune. We will first download 7-Zip from the official website. We then pack it into an Intune Win32 file. Last, we will upload and deploy it with Microsoft Intune. Let's get started. Open a browser and navigate to the 7-Zip homepage. Log in with your admin. I will speed up the process. Now click on download for the MSI 64-bit Windows installation. The executable will now be downloaded. In your downloads folder, you should now have a new file. We will need this file later. Now we will create two new folders on the C drive. That will help us creating the Intune Win32 file. So navigate to the C drive. Create a new folder named Deploy7, zip like shown in the video. Create a second new folder named Output. Now copy the 7-zip executable to the Deploy 7-zip folder. Perfect! We will need now to download the Intune Win App Tool from GitHub. So open a browser and search for Intune Win App Tool. Click on the first GitHub link. You might need to scroll down a bit. On here, click on the Intune Win App tool executable. Click on the Downloads icon. The tool has been downloaded. Just open it when it is finished. On here we will need to specify the parameters for the application. Just follow the steps. If you want to copy the command, visit the blog post. For source folder, define the deploy 7-zip folder. For the setup file, copy the name of the executable and paste it into the command. For the output folder, define the created output folder on C drive. Last, enter no. The application will now be created. This can take some time. When it is finished, you'll have a new Intunwin app file in your output folder. We will now upload this file to Microsoft Intune and deploy it. So open a browser and navigate to the Microsoft Intune portal and log in with your administrator. In the Intune portal, click on Apps on the left side. Click on Windows. Click on Add. For App Type, choose Win32 and click on Select.
On the App Informations tab, upload the Intune Win file from the output folder on your C drive. Click on OK. On here, you can now modify the application information. This is for everyone's needs different. You can really enter a lot of information in here. I will leave it quite empty. When you're finished, click on Next. The Install and Uninstall command should be already filled out. You don't need to edit anything on here. Just click on Next. On the requirements add for operating system architecture 64-bit and minimum operating system the oldest one. Click on Next. On the detection rule enter for rule format manually configure detection rules. Click on Add. Select for rule type MSI. The MSI product code is automatically filled out. You can leave the rest and click on OK. Click on Next. Define your dependencies if applicable and click on Next. Define your supersedence if applicable and click on Next. On the Assignments tab, assign the policy to a group or to all user. Click on Next. On the Review tab, click on Create. Congratulations, you have successfully deployed 7-Zip with Microsoft Intune. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you need more information, have a look at the blog post. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. See you soon.